Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. The I did this on Friday. I really enjoyed it, so I'm going to do it again. My name is Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist, here to help you get your day started. I don't know. It's something to think about, some things to work on, just stuff to uh, put in the pipe and smoke, as they say. So if you would do me a favor, when you get here, do what Joe has done already and beat you to the punch. Drop a comment down there. Say hi. Let me know that you are here because I'm going to ask you a question also. In fact, maybe I'll go ahead and ask the question now and then I'll ask it again at the end just to see your thoughts so you have a few minutes to think about it. I want to be here to serve you. So you tell me. Give me some topic ideas, some topic questions, topical questions that you would like for me to hammer home on, and I'll put those in the rotation. I've got a whole list of things right up here on the wall. Probably, oh, <clears throat> I don't know, 30 things that uh, that are up there. So just let me know what you want to hear about. All right, so today's topic, I promised to talk about Heine some today. Look, I'm even wearing Heine's T-shirt today. So, um, yeah, thoughts about honey. As I was telling the story this weekend, actually, to my granddaughter, how many of y'all saw the picture? I put a picture up on uh, on the Facebook page. Did you see it? You should go comment on it. Left a question there for you, too. All right. So I was telling her the story about Heine the mule. And one of the things that came up during the conversation there's a lot of lessons that are, you know, kind of wrapped up in the story, knowing what you want, you know, the grandpa that owned Heine the mule knew what he wanted. He wanted a new tractor. So he's going to take Heine to town. So I was willing to make sacrifices. But the other thing that we don't talk about very often is that his course had to change from time to time. The way that he was getting from point A to point to point B had to be modified and he would think about it for a minute and then he'd make a change and move on. He didn't Google it. He didn't survey his friends. He didn't, um, re- you know, go to the bookstore, buy a book, read up on how other people had done it. He was presented with a challenge, thought about it, came up with a plan of action and acted on it. And if you are going to be able to get to your goal, if you're going to be able to achieve the outcome that you are looking for, then you have to be willing and able to do the same things. You know, we, we hear those terms a lot, willing and able, and we don't think about what they really mean. Willing means that I'm willing to make a choice. I'm willing to put myself out front, right? And able means that I have the the experience to be able to make the uh, to make the choice. <clears throat> I saw a really interesting post this morning as I was thumbing through my LinkedIn feed from Gary V that said, "You're not stuck. You just don't have any experience," <laughs> which I thought was pretty good. Undoubtedly aimed at a particular generation that starts with M that I won't call out here. But look, honestly, that could apply to any of us. Um, honestly, we, we we read a book, we watch a video. Oh, yeah, I want to do that. And then all of a sudden we quit our job, we start a business, and nobody's showing up. Well, you're not stuck. You just don't have the requisite experience. All right, so here's what you need to take away from today's conversation. When you are confronted with an obstacle, think about it, come up with a plan, and execute the plan. Give give it a few minutes to think about it. Einstein said one time that if he was given a problem that uh, uh, that if his if his family's life was in danger and he had to solve a problem within 60 minutes to save their life he would spend 55 minutes thinking about it i don't know if you have to spend that long thinking about it or not but think about it come up with a plan and then execute the plan that's it and then once you do that if you're worried about being wrong you'll have an opportunity to repeat the cycle 
in the next step. All right, that's it for today. Hey, remember, question as we got started this morning, topics or uh, questions that you have that you would like for me to hit and hammer home as we go through uh, our days together here on 7 Minutes in the Morning. I am happy to take your suggestions because I'm here to serve you. I've got a list, whole list of topics up here, but I want to hear what you want to hear about. So leave me a comment or send me a message uh, related to that. If you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast, catch your head on over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll get you to the right Facebook page so you can watch and listen and join in the conversation. That's it for today. I'll be back again tomorrow. You guys have a magnificent Monday, and I'll talk to you then.